Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my what is in my hospital bag. So, I'm obviously getting along in my pregnancy. I'm about 33 and a half weeks when I started filming this. So, um, I mean, I may update my hospital bag a few things before I leave. This is probably the majority of what I'm going to put in my hospital bag. I thought I would share this video with you guys so you guys can see what I'm taking. Um, I do want to put in a disclaimer that here in Australia, the hospital pretty much provides nothing. Um, we have to provide everything from pads to nappies, all that sort of stuff separately ourselves. All of that will not be supplied for us. The only thing they really give you is the hospital gown. Um, and so if you don't want to wear that and you obviously need something to wear home, you have to pay something different. Also, I will be doing a separate what is in my baby's hospital bag because otherwise this video is going to be a million years long and I thought that would be the best way to do it. So I have my hospital bag here. It has all of my stuff and my husband's stuff in it and I thought I would share. But first, I'm going to share this little bag here. Um, this is my husband's bag. He's a St Kilda supporter. So. And this has just got our snacks and things that reach really, really easily. So for snacks, obviously labour can go for quite a long time. For snacks, I have packed a bag of my favourite popcorn. I mean, I might not be wanting to eat during labour, but my husband sure will. So I've also packed him some Pringles, sour cream and onion. I can't eat this flavour because I'm allergic to onion. So this is perfect for him. I've packed some peanuts, uh, just some peanuts that we got in a little uh, gift bag at Christmas. Um, for my husband to snack on and I've also packed some trail mix um, it's got some yogurt, cranberries, nuts in it just for a bit of energy if especially if our labour is going quite long I've also packed a headband some Aveen Thermal Spring Spray in case I get really hot and I really want something to cool me down in labour um, this is so refreshing and lovely I've packed a heat pack um, this is just perfect for lower back pain. I do get quite a bit of lower back pain in my pregnancy. And so I have two of these. One in here and one that's in my cupboard still. And I've also packed a light jumper and a light cardigan for me and my husband. Because we are due in summer. It could be the very beginning of autumn if he does run late. And so it could be a little bit nippy or chilly um, when we leave the hospital. And so I thought just a lightweight jumper for both of us would be ideal um, in case we need it we don't have to use it but it's in here nice and easy if we do moving on to my actual hospital bag now this is um, just my old gym bag I used to take this to the gym all the time and I still do use it when I was taking it for a gym and it is a good travel bag as well it is just this I'm not sure what the brand is um, gel net burner Asics gym bag so it looks like this um, it's got this gorgeous floral print on the top. I probably can't link this down below because it is probably about four years old now. Um, so I don't think they'd sell anymore. But any sort of gym bag, comfy bag, whatever suits you. Um, obviously, if you want to take a really cute bag, feel free to do it. I have been like lusting after the one that Aaron Williams took. But I just can't justify the money when I could just fit everything into this. Um, bag and it does the same so there is a side pocket here and in the side pocket here I have just got a plastic bag for dirty clothes some overnight pads and also I've packed some Depends so if you guys aren't aware of what Depends are they're kind of like adult diapers I suppose um, and after a lot of research I have done I found that these are supposed to be the most comfortable for post birth um, you do lose a lot of blood if you didn't know post-birth and I found that these are the most recommended. They have a built-in pad but they feel like underwear. They are actually like underwear um, that are sort of like meshy. Um, and these are supposed to be a lot more comfortable than wearing one of those huge maternity pads because these are so absorbent because they are for people who are incontinent and who aren't able to go to the bathroom. So they're super absorbent and you can get the ones that are like super absorbent. Um, and they're supposed to be a lot more comfortable and they also sit above where your c-section is if you do happen to get a c-section so i did pack a pack of those so i think there's about 10 in the bag that's probably excessive i definitely don't think i will need 10 but i did want to make sure i packed enough that if i did get a c-section or if i had any complications that i had enough for the hospital and wouldn't have to send my husband out to get more before we came home so that is all that is in this side pocket um there's also a front pocket um, which I have nothing in at the moment except for a couple little panty liners um, in case my water breaks and I need to pop that on 
on the way to the hospital. I just know where they are. They're nice and easy. Moving into the main section of the bag, which is this section here. I have packed everything for me and my husband into here, which is good because that means we will only have this bag and the baby bag and the snack bag instead of separate bags for everybody. So I thought I would pop into that. Um, so first of all, I can see my toiletries bag. Well, this is mine and my husband's toiletries bag. This is actually his travel bag, um, but I just put all my stuff in here with his stuff. Um, first thing I'm seeing is stool softeners. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, you get very constipated when you're pregnant and post-birth. Pushing out something else is not going to feel too great. So I have packed those. I have packed myself... Um, a little pouch that has my lip balm and some hair ties in it this is just so easy so my husband can just grab this out when I'm in labor he doesn't have to search around for it so I've just got this honey's um, lip balm and then probably like four or five hair ties and also a little spider butterfly clip um, in case I want to just get my hair out of my face and I don't have a hair tie on me at the time I've also packed a hairbrush and a comb self-explanatory I think I don't think I need to explain that too much I've also packed some detangling spray because my hair is super knotty. I have very wavy to curly hair and it can get super, super knotty. So I did pack some detangling spray. Also, two toothbrushes, one for me and one for my husband. And some toothpaste. Hygiene. I packed some body spray, just brushing up a little bit. Didn't want to pack a full perfume, felt that was a bit unnecessary. I also packed deodorant for me and my husband. Um, again... You might not get time to shower in the hospital, so pretty essential. And I also packed some face wipes by Cetaphil, which is my favourite cleanser. I use this cleanser on my face, and I didn't want to bring my whole cleanser bottle. It's a huge, like, one litre bottle, so I just bought the actual face wipes. I thought that would be enough. And also some cleansing wipes um, for the downstairs region, because something soft and gentle is probably going to be a bit more favourable post labour. Moving on to what I packed for my husband. I'll run through this pretty quickly. You guys probably aren't super interested. I packed him a pair of sport shorts. Um, these he can hop in the shower with or just be comfortable in. Obviously, if I want to shower or have a water berth, then he can pop in the pool with those. I've also packed him a lightweight sort of sports t-shirt, which is the same sort of thing. He can get it wet if he wants to, and it will still be super comfortable for him. Um, I want him to be comfortable. I also packed just a plain t-shirt, obviously, so he can come home in something comfortable if he does get his clothes wet. I've packed him, I think, three pairs of underwear. Who knows how long we'll be in the hospital for. A pair of socks, because he will have socks that he wore to the hospital, but and obviously he will have shoes, so socks. I also packed him a pair of shorts and a pair of jeans. So, like I said, baby boy is due at the very end of summer, but here in Melbourne at the end of summer could mean anything between ridiculously hot and freezing cold. So, I did pack him one of each, just so he has some options to come home. Moving on to my stuff, I packed myself a pair of slippers, because I don't really want to be working around the hospital, gross dirty feet. Um, these are just cheap slippers from Cotton On Body. I like that the fact they have open toes because I do get um, quite warm and also I don't like things touching my toes too much and these will also be really comfortable if it's a little bit hot in the hospital. I still can walk around them without overheating. I packed myself a breastfeeding shirt. This one's just from Kmart. Um, basically it just has a flap over the front that just lifts up. Um, and I thought this would be really comfortable to come home in as a possible coming home outfit or to hang around the hospital depending on which or what is happening. I also just packed an oversized comfy shirt as well. So depending on which how I'm feeling, I might want to come home in that one or this one. This is just huge and comfortable because, um, you know, nothing really fits you post-birth and you're probably not feeling too crash hot. As for a nighty, I've just packed... Just a plain black nighty, nothing super exciting. This was from Boohoo a couple of years ago, just the dress that I used to wear, but it is really comfortable and really soft for a nighty and black, which I think is essential for post labor. Um, I also packed two pairs of leggings, one if I have to stay at the hospital and one to come home in. I packed two nursing bras. These are just the Bonds ones. I am actually gonna swap one of these out 
for my new favourite nursing bras, which are the H&M ones. Oh my god. Just side note, if you guys are looking for comfortable nursing bras that are super affordable, check out the H&M ones. They are so comfortable. I'm wearing one right now. They're great. But I just have two nursing bras. And then if by chance he is born and it is 100 degrees outside and just boiling, I did pack just a plain summer dress, which is majoritively black but still a little bit summery and also is like a... Um, ruche top so easy to pull down for breastfeeding so nice and easy because I do plan on breastfeeding that would be my goal and I wanted everything to be easy and comfortable if that is the case so that is what I have packed in my hospital bag um, let me know if you guys think I have missed anything absolutely crucial that I need to bring to the hospital with me that is like you need to have this it will change your life I'm not packing shoes or socks because I will probably just be wearing my comfy sandals to the hospital and home no matter how cold it is my feet are just a little bit too swollen to fit into enclosed shoes at the moment and i will just be wearing those so please let me know any essentials down below for what is in your hospital bag or what you think i need to bring in my hospital bag also don't forget to subscribe to see the what is in my baby's hospital bag which will be coming up next week and i really hope you guys enjoy this video have an amazing day thank you for watching bye